How much have you been able to focus on Leash? Because, of course, you can't meet up collectively. Yeah, unfortunately, that's uh, this has brought everything to a halt. Um, and, and look, there's, there's obviously a very serious side to that. And, and it, it obviously takes the priority. It obviously has to be number one. Um, you know, the, the sport, while it's a very important thing and it's threaded through all of our, our daily lives, maybe in, in, in terms of planning and what's coming down the line, it's it's just gone onto the back burner at the moment. And, and even initially when this story broke, you're kind of going, ah, yeah, well, should we just break into small pods? And you're kind of going, no, you just you just cannot do that. So more than ever, the responsibility is over to the players. I think it's 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 um, it's you know it's good to hear from the lads. We check in with them every so often, but you know they're finding ways to keep at it. They're finding ways to keep their fitness. I think it's very difficult uh, to plan out what you're doing in terms of all the other intercounty managers across hurling football and camogie and, and ladies football. You do generally plan out. The coming months you have your training schedule in place and this has just literally torn it all up and and look it's 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 not the number one thing but yeah as as you as you mentioned there it, it does tear up what, what you were planning to do so um you just have to play the waiting game really and, and i think sometimes that's just about maintenance for me with the guys with fitness maybe there's opportunities to clear up little bits of injuries there's opportunities maybe to to just um work on aspects of your game that that you mightn't ordinarily get um so you just have to look at it as an opportunity as opposed to a problem and, and do what do your best in that time and, and just be ready, I think, to, to, to use that line to stay ready, I think, because, uh, you know, I know the GA have possibly put a, a contingency plan B in place, all going well, and, and it's geared towards the end of June, maybe, and we just have to wait and see. But uh, obviously enough, the, the most important thing is you're hoping that the, the players are keeping healthy and well. And you, like, just talk of, like, a, a two-week run-in before any games would take place. But in terms of the structure of the championship, like you were gearing yourself up for a minimum of four games, which would be great for the development of the Leash team this year back in Leinster. Would you would you be OK with the idea of a straight knockout or do you think they should try and find some other way? Yeah, it's hard to know. I think uh, there's definitely pluses and minuses. Um, I think there's no doubt about it. We were really, really looking forward to the championship. We were really looking forward to two home matches, two away matches, knowing that you know you can't get relegated out of Leinster. So it was a great opportunity for lads to get good championship matches uh, under the belt. And again, obviously, as I always say, measure yourself off the top teams and see where you are and, and, and hopefully that you'll uh, maybe cause a bit of harm on the way. But... Um, yeah, at the same time, straight knockout brings a different kind of an appeal. Um, I think, I think it means it possibly plays into you know, I suppose these one-off shocks as well. I think that can that's something that can happen, but it depends on what way the structure is. As regards having two weeks to prepare yourself for knockout championship, it would be far from ideal. But if if that's what it has to be, that's what it has to be. You know, I think it would bring a, a real excitement to it. I think you know we all look. You know, I know when I was growing up, you were reared on knockout championship and how if a team got knocked out early, well, they had 12 months to, to stew over that and, 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 get, it, and get it right. So um, we'll see. There's a, a lad calling at me here now. Just one second, sorry. Maeve's crying. I know. Will you go up to her there and I'll be up in a second. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> no, I'd be keen to keep that in. Bit of crack shot. <laughs> Child upstairs crying. But... Um, so, yeah, look, I, th- I think knockout championship would bring something completely different. I think it would really add to the tension of, 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 of a, of a build-up. I think knowing that, look, it's in or out after this. So I think there's, a, there's an element of appeal to that as well. But I think, look, it's extraordinary times. So we'll, we'll, we'll just have to run with whatever the, the GA decide if, if it, if it gets, comes to pass. Uh, I have only two more questions. But the first one is... Um Taking on like you've secured you secured your league status as well, which I'm sure was a great boost. But uh, playing against Brian Cody, was there a bit of a sort of a knowing smile between you when you met in the league? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was a definitely an unusual situation. Um, I'd have to say, uh, you know, I, I I spoke with Michael Vernon earlier on the year about it and said it was something that I wasn't really looking forward to. It was going to be weird, and and that day in Olin Park was was definitely unusual. It's just. Uh, it's a place that's that's obviously quite special for me, um, you know, and, and a place that has great memories. So going there in the National League was definitely unusual. But um, look, you, you have to get on with it. You're there to do a job. So uh, I was I was kind of, you know, I was pleased definitely that day and how things went. I felt, you know, we, we, we accounted very well for ourselves. And again, you know, it, it's more experience uh, in the tank for the guys. But um, yeah, there was, there was probably a, a little bit of... Uh, I suppose, uh, a grin with him there afterwards, all right, and sure, look, 
um, that's that's all part of the fun. But uh, yeah, no, thank, thankfully he stood down his end and I stood up my end during the match.